This is not a drill. Nope. College football is happening this weekend. You are going to be watching college football this weekend. Make sure you're there. Clint. Make sure everything is accounted for. When you're watching college football this weekend, mm. you're going to want to bet on those games. Yes, you are. When you bet on those games, you're going to need to know which side to bet on. We're going to tell you that today on the Locked On Bulldogs podcast. You are Locked On Bulldogs, your daily podcast on the Georgia Bulldogs. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. He is Daniel. I am Clint, and we are betting on football. This I just can't. Morning. I can't stop smiling. I just Daniel and I were texting. Smiling. If you're not texting with buddies and friends and gals and people that you talk to about these game lines, these over unders, if you're not watching the line change, if you're not looking at the Florida and Utah line and how it's changing already, if you're not looking at season win totals, we're going to give it all to you. So we're going to give you week zero locks, games on Saturday. Daniel and I are going to give you stone cold locks. And when we say locks, we're putting our money into this. First of all, here are the rules for locks. We put our money on these games. These are not hypothetical games. Okay. Our integrity, more valuable than money. It really is. That's an IOU. It's more second valuable thing, than money. Second thing, uh, Daniel and I have a little side action. These locks mean something personal it, for Daniel and I. Let's just say it just means more. It means more between he and it's I. It's like the SEC of locks. It is the is. SEC of locks. So we're going to put our money down. It means something between Daniel and I. And then in the third segment, we're going to give you those locks. And in the third segment, we're going to give you season win totals for our mm -hmm. favorite ones that you can get in the action before Saturday, before games kick off and cash those at the end of the year. So you can spend some money on Georgia covering the line against Michigan in the college football playoff. You're um, going to want to do that. You're going to want to do that. That, um, okay. that one period per practice is not going to pay off. Okay. <laughs> so um, uh, let's, so uh, Clint alluded, alluded to this a bit, but just for clarification purposes, if you've been with us in years past, by the way, thanks for watching the show thanks. on YouTube. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks I thought for, you were going to bust out in a mouse and a cookie story, Daniel. If you're going to, if you're going to watch football games, you're, you're going to bet on it. If you're, you're going to bet on it, you're going to want to earn money. If you I mean, listen, earn money. the logic holds. It's a it real sound. It's a real sound uh, principle. Clint and I are going to be giving you our locks every single week on Thursdays, but the yes. first lock that we give you, we're, typically we just we just sort of throw out all of our bets and we let you filter through the information. This year, we're bringing one lock to the center, to the front. This is the one we feel the best about. This is the absolute lock of the week. If we could only make one bet, this would be the one that we would take. It's the American so, Craft singles of bets. You know that's right. The little smash burger, you melt that right on top. You get the little crispy bits on the edge. Woo-wee. Um, so, week zero, Clint, not a lot of games to choose from. No. no and really. I will ask you, the reigning no. champion of our bet, who is your week zero lock of the week? What side are you taking? Is it a spread? Is it an over-under? It's an over-under. Daniel, it is an over-under. And I'm going to tell you the two teams involved, okay? Okay. The two teams involved are the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors mm -hmm. and the Vanderbilt Commodores. The Vanderbilt Commodores of Vanderbilt. Now, those two teams... They, Used to back in the day, Hawaii actually had a little run and gun offense that put up some points. Timmy Chang, I think we all remember him. Um, I think we all remember that Sugar Bowl. Let's not. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to go there, but you well, did. Well, that was one of the more embarrassing displays. A Daniel team is, has ever. is rounding into form, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> he's rounding into season form. Pessimism's back. We're here. Um, those two teams may have had a, another time in life where they could put up points, but they can't put up points anymore. Hawaii has no interest in scoring points, and Vanderbilt might have some interest, but can't. Just mm. even if they wanted to. I think Clark Lee is getting the ownership. I think they do actually have a chance to get more wins than Florida this year in the SEC. That is not a joke. I'm not kidding. That's not me trolling Florida. He would they never joke suck. about that. I would never joke about Florida sucking because that's nope. It's right over the there truth. on the side. You want to check the topics. Check the topics. Um, 
The point total is 55 and a half. 55.5. If this game is 40 to 10. Mm -hmm. What happens then? I win money. Mm, What if it's 42 to 7? Win money. Okay, then. It's a lot of ways. It it's a lot like you could of ways. Money. This this game is not going over fifty five. Give me the under fifty five and a half for uh, Hawaii Vanderbilt. Daniel, what's your Stone Cold Lock Absolute American Craft Singles? Well, we we just keep it right there at the yes. nightcap in Nashville, Tennessee. You going? You got tickets? I might. We'll see. It's still okay. still still TBD. Put, got some feelers out there. I like all of the logic that you're bringing to the table. I don't disagree with much of what you're saying. It's interesting that you, what was the example score that you gave where you win? Uh, 40 to 10, 42 yeah. to 7. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting that in these example scores, it seems like one of the teams does in fact score a lot of points. <laughs> Vanderbilt could just knife through butter against Hawaii's defense. If only we had had an opportunity to see that before. Oh, last year in week zero on the island, Vanderbilt just absolutely decimated Hawaii. Let me tell you two things that are true. Number one, Hawaii is as bad or worse as they were that day. Yeah. Number two, Vanderbilt is unequivocally better as a football team than they were in week zero a year ago. I actually really believe that Clark Lee is building something at Vanderbilt that is that is reasonable. I wasn't joking. I'm a buyer on this yeah. team. I think they're going to go 4-0. and I'm go- To start the season. To start the season. And I think they're absolutely going to... Vanderbilt doesn't get a lot of opportunities to absolutely take a team to the woodshed. Slobber and knocker. they're going to do it this week. And so 17 points, Clint? Vanderbilt is only favored by 17 points. Give me Vanderbilt minus 17. By the way, we're getting all these lines off of our good friends Vanderbilt. over at FanDuel. Um, 17 points for Vanderbilt. That's my stone cold lock of the week. That tells me, Clint... Little same game parlay action over on FanDuel. Hey, Colby, let, tell us. Let me just what's, tell what's the juice on that. Let me just tell you right now. You do a little same game parlay. It's plus two twenty six. You take both those. The under fifty five and a half. That's fantastic. The minus seventeen. That's plus two twenty six. I may just drop a little coin on it right this moment. You should um, go ahead and do it. Why don't you, Daniel? Week zero locks of the week. All right, we're coming back. We got more week zero locks to give out. And we've got season win totals, bets that you are going to want to make before the season kicks off on Saturday. All of that and more coming up right after this. And this is eBay Motors. eBay Motors, Daniel, I don't know if you understand how that 95 Honda Civic did us so good on the open market. Healthy profit. The used car market is killing it right now. There's a lot of markets that are killing it right now, Daniel, and yep. it's and some awful. that aren't, and some that aren't. <laughs> um, used cars are hopping, and our O3 Honda Accord is doing great, and that's because we have eBay Motors to help us out. eBay Motors has the right parts, the right fit, the right price for your car. If you go over there right now to eBay Motors, this is only guaranteed to U.S. customers. You go over there right now. Enter your car into the garage. So you do the make, the model, the year, put it in there, and it's going to tell you if these parts fit your car. Then you just start shopping for parts. You just start picking out parts. You don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about a dang thing. Just go ahead and buy the parts that your car needs at a reasonable price. It is secure. It is reliable. It is great. eBay Motors is a place for you. The right parts, the right fit, the right prices. Get over there right now. eBay guaranteed fit, only available to U.S. customers with your garage. eBay Motors, ebaymotors.com. Lock one in the books. It feels good, doesn't it? It feels like an old friend. Like an old friend that you just get together with and the conversation just picks up right where it left off and it's like you never it's like you never left. Um, Clint, do you have any more week zero locks for the people? Uh, Daniel, I do. You got you got action in that uh, Notre Dame Navy game, that kickoff Uh, game. No, I don't. I have a lean. I I mean, I would stay in a way. I'm staying away because I, I, I need to see Notre Dame. I mean, they're. Their offensive guru and mastermind left. 
Damn. And so their offense is going to get markedly better this year. Book it. <laughs> Write it down. Better. Um, no, Notre Dame's a team I have to see first before I can bet on them. It's an interesting. They got that Wake Forest kid, the transfer from Wake Forest, Sam he's Hartman. Gonna be great. I think he's going to be great. I think he's going to be really good. I think they have yeah. a chance to score some points. It is Navy. How can you not lean the under in Notre Dame Navy 50, in Ireland? 50, 50 and a half? And a half? How can you not lean the under in that game? I'm not willing to give it out as a lock, but no. I, I love that under. What do you got for the people, Clint? Um, look, Jacksonville State's a good story because Dion absolutely gutted them, got what he wanted in the That's left. a good story? Well, it's good for him. I, I'm, being told, for Dion. They, I'm being told by the media that I have to cheer for Dion doing that. Oh, well, the media's got another thing coming because I will, I'm going to laugh as Dion loses a lot of games. This a year. lot of games in Colorado. I might bet Colorado every single week. Check back for year. the win total locks in just a moment, please. <laughs> we have a couple of teams that I can already guarantee you are on Daniel Dye's sheet I've already together. Mentioned, I've already mentioned two of them, and they two both wear black and gold. <laughs> just so we're clear. Uh, one of them's you, an over, one of them's an under. You fill in the blanks. UTEP's got a pretty good system in place, Daniel. They're a program on the rise. Yeah. Uh, I, I think they're, again, talking markedly better. Uh, the spread in that game is one and a half. Now, all those players are gone from Jacksonville State. They transferred out. They go, the team they, is good. They go home. You, it's at Jacksonville State, which I guess has given them that three sure. point, two and a half, yeah. three point swing. Uh, so if this was on in, in UTEP's favor, it'd be a four or five point. But UTEP one and a half? No, Daniel, they're winning this game by a touchdown. Give me UTEP giving one and a half points. That is a. I mean, you're betting on UTEP Jacksonville State. Clint. That's what we're talking and say, about. Say I'm wrong. I won't. I won't Thank do you. it. I won't Thank say you. that you're wrong. Um, I, t I gave you that lean in Notre Dame Navy. That's my only other. That's the, probably the only other wager I've got. I got nothing for San Jose State USC. I'm not. No, I'm not no, touching that. No, that's spread thirty and a half. No, I'm, I'm not. not touching that. If anything, a, a USC team total over, maybe. Yeah. Maybe just a general over because over. USC's defense is. I might bet the over in every USC game this year. Now again, quick question, coached by Lincoln Riley, no. notable for his form tackling. And attention to detail. Defensive prowess, is that what he yeah. is? Nope. No. Uh, what it. about, okay, but but what about UMass, New Mexico State, Daniel? Uh, say say less, because I have no feeling remember about the, this game. Remember the year, was it COVID year that New Mexico State played, I think it was New Mexico twice in the same year? Yes. They played two, t <laughs> they played the same team to try to fill the schedule two times. I totally forgot about that. And you know what? People, I watched it. People are criticizing Georgia about their schedule. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's saying a word about that. Nobody's making a peep. Uh, I have one more lean. It's an interesting lean. And then, then we'll get to our favorite season win totals. Okay. Um, the other lean that I have is San Diego State minus two and a half. Daniel, this is a this is interesting. A, I think San Diego State has a more competent roster, has a more competent coaching staff. Okay. It's Ohio. It's on the road. It is week zero. Uh, Ohio State's, or I'm sorry, Ohio may come out with some guns blazing, but uh, no, my Bobcats. lean in that is the Aztecs. Damn. Mm. That's my Taking lead. a road, f is that a road favorite? No, 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 they're at home. Oh, okay. yeah, it's in yeah, San yeah. Diego. No, it's in San Diego. Yeah. Oh, I see. I thought it's you said a, it was it's in the, Ohio. It's at, it's at the place, the Poinsettia Bowl. Used no, the, to take place. The, the credit union, the, the credit world's union. most famous credit union. I'd love to have some money in that credit union, but maybe one day. One. Um, uh, all right, we got we got season win totals. Uh, I don't want to. I, I won't bury the, like take the Vanderbilt over three and a half. I think That's it's season up, win totals. Season win is totals. Up to four? It's up to four now, mm. which That's is hard. that's fine. Still I told you. It. I think we're going to be four and zero. Oh. So that means we we got a free roll on eight games. Worst case scenario, we push. Best case scenario, we win when they pick up just one conference win. I think they are going to get a conference win this year. And so I think you've got some insurance. And then mentioned it earlier, Colorado under three and a half. The schedule is not favorable. And hear me clearly. That Please. team will quit on Dion when they start losing. And they're going to start losing week one. And then... Week two, they're also going to lose. That team will quit. 
by the time we, we get halfway through that but season. But when we when we quit, we quit all together. And when we lose, we lose all together. And when we fight, we fight all together. Daniel, he literally quit. said in a press conference, I don't care if the people on my team like each other or not. Yep. They're just they're just teammates. They're just football players. They don't have to like each other. It's kind of the anti Kirby Smart mentality. Kirby's literally out here preaching connection. The most successful coach in the game right now is out here literally preaching connection is the most important part of our program. Dion is saying eat or be eaten. Darwinian coaching. I'll Let's buy roll. someone else if you don't want to be here. It's, it's nice. Love to see it. All right. We've got lots more season win totals coming up right after this. But first, I want to let you know about BetterHelp. Today's mm. episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Uh, and BetterHelp is fantastic. Daniel and I are very accustomed to seeking advice, seeking counsel, seeking each other's opinions, as well as the opinions of those and insight from those that are trusted sources. Not we just look everybody. for your opinions in the comments all the time, and you're more than gracious to provide them for us. The difference is... Yeah, okay, say the difference, Daniel. You have no qualifications, nor are your comments insightful or helpful in any way. But on the other hand, BetterHelp, that's a place you can go to get actual help for the That's issues right. and things that you're going through better help is a place that you can go whatever you're going through in a time of life sometimes in life we're faced with tough choices and the path forward isn't always clear uh, many times in your life a job opportunity uh, mm. a, a relationship uh, insight as to maybe some some things that you're thinking and feeling that need some clarity where they're dealing with decisions relationships, anything else, move forward with confidence and excitement. Trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. Let therapy be your map with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash locked on college today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash locked on college today. Oh, Daniel, we got season win totals. Welcome Let's, to the 199, 199 segment three. Loyal third segment listeners. We love it. Hey, when you're out there making those bets, sometimes you're going to need bottles a, and buckets. You're going to need a bottle. You're going to need a bucket. What do you one, do? Bonfire.com slash store slash the 199. Get your bottle. That's the one. Uh, Daniel, Clint, what's, season win totals? What's the, what's the season win total that you love? Um, here, here's the deal. First of all, get in on season win totals uh, now because this, this is, is how a you, great way to invest your money. This is how you invest your money, Daniel. Okay. Stock market, um, up and down. Real home. estate, can't trust it. Season win totals, this is, a, this is how you get a return on your money. That's exactly right. Um, here, some conferences that are interesting to me that I, I look to first, and then I'll get to the, to the season win totals. Okay. Big 12 conference has some values in it, Daniel. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Let me see Texas, if I got any Oklahoma, Big 12 Kansas State. I don't have a single Big 12 school on the board. Enlighten me, Clint. What do you like in the Big 12? Uh, well, I like not good football for season well, they, win totals. They have it. They, they have it. They okay. have got Texas the market cornered. hates winning. Oklahoma mm -hmm. hired Brent Venables, so I think we know how they feel about winning. Yikes. Kansas State has a chance to win that conference, Daniel. Kansas State always has a chance to win that conference because Kansas State – is a very good, solid football team. And, oh, by the way, they won the conference last year. There it is. Um, so I would I would go with that. Uh, just take a look at it. That, that's just my quick first take at that. Uh, but, Daniel, I, we've already mentioned Vanderbilt over. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll stay in the SEC because a lot okay. of these season win told us. Um, take the under on South Carolina. Take it hurts under. him to say it. You it know that it's me. you know that it's coming from his heart because it's not that something he says lightly. Is awful for them. Just awful. I just think there's just a lot of hype around South Carolina. It's kind of what Better South too. Carolina does, right? When there's expectations, they underperform. Yeah. And every Six now and, and then the, they're just the jump up and bite somebody. I just That's right. I think I don't I don't see a lot of great I don't see a lot of great Ness for South Carolina this year. I do like the Auburn over. It's six and a half. Go get the Auburn in the SEC. over. Um, we've talked a lot about SEC win totals, though. Let me take you to the Big Ten, Clint. Hmm. I got two Big Ten teams, and I got an over and an under. 
Do you want the over first or the under? I got I want three the un- Big Ten teams. I want I'm the sorry. under first. Do you have two, right, unders I got two, two overs? overs? I got yeah. two overs and under. an under. Indiana under four. Indiana is not going to be good this year. This is inch- This is wild. And they are going to end up being the whipping boy of that division of that really? of that conference. Indiana under four season win total. They got a, they got at least one in the non con. That's a loss, and so you only get three of those. So there's only two wins in the non con. Now you're telling me Indiana's got to win three games in the Big Ten. Doesn't feel good. To cover? No, Indiana's not winning three games in the Big Ten. Clint, Indiana under four. Okay, give me your two overs My now. overs in the yeah. Big Ten. If Indiana's going to lose some games, that means somebody's going to win some games, right? It's a Bears repeating. Michigan State is going to make a bowl game this year. This is wild to me, y'all. Daniel is full lather already. This is wild. All right, hear me out. I please. Okay. Two years ago, did anybody think Michigan State was going to be worth a darn? No, they did not. And what did Michigan State do? I think they they went out and won eleven games. Is what they did, Clint. They won eleven games under Mel Tucker, and Mel Tucker got. Paid. Uh, <laughs> and then the last year, year and, <laughs> and then last year, yeah. Did people have expectations for Michigan State, Clint? They did. And then what did Michigan State do, Clint? Mel said, "I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I don't care." The pendulum has swung, Clint, the other direction. Okay. This win total is at five. Five. Michigan State's making a bowl game. He said bowl. That's six wins minimum. That's wild. I like Michigan State for six or seven wins this year when I look at the schedule. I think this this is one of my favorite Big Ten win totals. Uh, and then the other one that I really like for an over is Illinois. Illinois over six and a half. When you said Indiana under, I was going to my immediate question to you following that was you must have Illinois over then. Yes. Yeah. I love Illinois this year. The win total is six and a half. They got the old Wisconsin coach. And guess what the old Wisconsin coach does, Clint? Which position group do you think he's focused on there in Champlain? It it it, it must mean skill positions, Dan. No. No, let me stop you right there. It's the offensive line. It's the trenches, Clint. Illinois is out here building a team in the trenches with the running game. They control the ball. They control the line of scrimmage. And they are consistently getting better and better and better. And I'm a believer in Brett Bielema. I think he's a very good coach. He's a good coach. And it didn't work out at Arkansas, obviously. But I think Brett Bielema is a very good coach. I like what he's doing at Illinois, and I'm on the Illinois over six and a half. Michigan State and Illinois over Indiana under. Those are my Big Ten. Um, we've talked about this before on this podcast. This is nothing new, but um, Tennessee is not winning ten games this year. They have a worse roster. They That's have right. the same coach who has a mm-hmm. one, two, and done offense if you can't get a readout in one or two it's over it's gimmicky and coaches are wising up to it not everybody's as smart as kirby pun intended to to pick up on it so quickly but you give these coaches enough time these defensive coordinators enough time they're going to figure out that your pony only has one trick you know what i'm trying to say to you like that's just it's not hard tennessee's not winning 10 games the 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 number is nine and a half Okay, here's a couple of very interesting things that I would lean. I don't know if I'm making this bet, but I would lean. Okay, give me some leans. UCLA, eight and a half. UCLA has a talented roster. They might be better last year's. Dorian Robinson, quarterback situation. He was a liability back there. Yep. Chip can coach. Pac-12 is going to cannibalize itself. And I think UCLA wins nine games in there, Daniel. I think they are talking at the end of the year about a Pac-12 championship in which UCLA can do it. The schedule, I think, sets up favorably for them. 
Give me nine wins for the Bruins. I got one more, and I just I keep crossing my eyes. I keep looking at it every different direction, and like it's a team not unlike Texas. Okay. Historically, they don't enjoy winning, at least lately. Hate the winning. They don't love to win. But when you look at the roster and you look at the talent and you look at what they have, I'm trying to figure out a way that Florida State doesn't win at least 10 games this year. The over-under is nine and a half. They play against LSU week one. And they play um, against Clemson on the road at Clemson on September 23rd. Let me read you the other 10 games on the schedule. Let the folks know, Daniel. Southern Miss, Boston College, Virginia Tech, Syracuse, Duke, Wake Forest, Pittsburgh, Miami, North Alabama, and Florida. Those are the other 10. Oh, man. Now, let me say this. No, wait. Did you? You didn't say LSU in there, did you? Yeah, LSU and Clemson are the two games. Yeah, okay. Those okay, are the okay. two games that they have that they that are very, very losable. Nine and a half is the number, though, Clint. Not ten and a half. Nine and a half. Miami they only is the have only other school two on there losable that games. Give you pause because of the what happens in Florida. Okay. Yeah, but that game's at home for Florida State. It's late in the season. I think Jordan Travis is the best quarterback in the ACC. I think Florida State has the deepest roster in the ACC. I'm not saying I think they're going to win the ACC, but listen, I would be shocked if Florida State doesn't win at least one of those two games against LSU or Clemson. They're not going 0-2 in those two games. Hey, y'all, just do me a little favor. Get in on this over, but also sprinkle a little Florida State to make the college football playoff because if that happens if what happens if they go 11 and 1 they will be in the college football playoff with a win against either Clemson on the road or LSU at a neutral site at the at week 1 and they're, they're 11 and 1 they're the third seed that's that's a college football playoff team it's over 9 and a half i can't see it going any other way yo we're here it's like happening. We're here. Uh, this has been Locked On Bulldogs, part of Locked On Podcast Network. Justin, get us over that 199 locks and the, the all that all that good stuff. The pick 'em league, get it over to pick us. Pick 'em. That's um, what it's called. That's what I look. I I'm too excited. I can't be helped, Daniel. Uh, dogs taking a little drink in the background. That was that noise. Don't worry. Not just, running. Just else. just toenails clacking around on the on <laughs> the tile the- floor. <laughs> This has been Locked On Bulldogs, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day, and we will see you all next time.